Hey look, I made a video about two games that I'm really liking right now. Of course there is only Battlefield 4 gameplay here, as there is no Battlefront gameplay out in the public just yet. Now that I've piqued your interest though, I quickly want to ask you guys a question. How likely is it that you're going to buy Battlefront? And also, are you interested in seeing it here on my channel? I know it's like a super popular game, there's a huge audience waiting for this thing. And the last three Battlefront videos that I have actually posted have done quite well, but I just want to gauge your interest. I have full intentions on making this a mainline game here on my channel as more info and gameplay gets released and right up until launch when we can start some proper coverage of the game. And the main reason that I'm asking is because I want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys the content that you want to watch. I'll be posting what I want to post anyway, but if there's really no interest in what I'm thinking of posting, then I'll just play the game privately and, <laughs> and not post it. Passing 100k subs has really opened my eyes a bit to the idea of like making my channel a little bit more multi-game focused or like a destination for all first person shooters and I don't mean that I'm just going to abandon Battlefield that will always be my main game but I want to throw some other things in there that's going to keep content fresh so I'm not just relying solely on Battlefield as my source of content forever and that's not to say that I don't enjoy Battlefield I really really do I play the game basically every single day but I'd rather post more varied stuff for you guys to get a bit of diversity here on the channel. And also so I can attract, like, a wider audience, because who doesn't want to grow their channel, am I right? On that front of growing my channel, I'm kind of making a lot of changes at the moment, which is leaving me with <laughs> less time than I thought I might actually have to do anything with it whatsoever. As you know, I'm moving into a new flat very soon, and, and actually it's Saturday, which is the moving day, which is only a couple of days away. That's, that's really quite scary. It means that all of my stuff is all over the place. I've got, like, no time to sit down and make videos, <laughs> he says as he's just posted this commentary, and I'm lagging up, lagging up with packing as well. There's just so many boxes in this room right now, it's unbelievable. It does make for some really good sound buffering. So if this commentary sounds better than normal, then then maybe that's a good thing. But yeah, I haven't got a huge amount of time right now, and that's probably why I haven't bought you a proper content-based video today. It always seems to happen in life that once you do one thing, it kind of snowballs and everything happens at once. I mean, I'm moving house, and I've also just been sent two new graphics cards to review, one from AMD and one from NVIDIA, and I have them both here on my desk, and I'm supposed to review them, but I can't do that because I haven't got enough time. I've got to pack the PC up and move it over to my new house, which is where I'm not getting internet for like four days after I move in, so I can't even do anything for four days without the internet. I can't do anything on my computer. Like, you don't realise the necessity of the internet until it's taken away from you. It's, it's ridiculous how much you rely on it these days. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I might not post anything for about a week or so, but I'm not dead. It's just that I'm busy. Think of it as like me taking a sabbatical from YouTube. It's not that I want to take time away. It's that I'm being forced to take time away because I've got other things that I have to do. But I'm not going to promise that I will post videos in case I don't, but I won't also promise that I won't post videos or won't not post videos. Basically, I won't promise that I will or won't post videos because I might find some time to actually do it. But what I will promise is that by the 9th of July, I'll have fully moved in and I have two days off work because I'm working the weekend, which means I should have enough time to catch up with what I've missed from like the last four or five days and also make you some content that you can watch at the weekend, which I think everybody would be happy with. I hope that all made sense because listening back to it, it sounded like a load of gobbledygook, but... To be honest, every time I listen back to my videos, that's all I hear anyway. <laughs> but just before I let you go today anyway, I do have a cool giveaway to announce. I found a few PC codes uh, on my Humble Bundle account the other day because I logged in to have a look at it just for some random reason. And, um, well, I don't need them because I already have all of these games and I don't know why I've got a second copy, but there's no point in me holding on to them. I may as well give them to you guys. Don't worry console fans, I do have something coming for you in the next couple of weeks, but it is so much harder to do console game giveaways than it is for PC, because all the codes for PC are just like readily available all of the time. 
But if you do want to win these codes, then make sure you hit like on today's video. And that's just to like show me how much you love me because everyone should love me. <laughs> but no, yeah, leave a like on today's video and leave a comment with your like Twitter username and something nice about the video as well. So it's not just your username. Um, the reason I want you to use a Twitter username is because it's so much easier for me to contact the winner. Because I can't ask you to leave an email because that's really not great. Everyone will spam you. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. If you don't have a Twitter account, go and make one. Because, well, you can't win without one. Because otherwise I can't contact you. And it's not very fair. Um, I'll pick a winner next week when I move into my flat. And it will probably be in the first video that I release once I've moved in. And one final thing. T-shirts. I'm thinking of starting a campaign for one. I do have a few designs. But this is the one that I've got so far. Uh, let me know what you think, and if you're interested in getting one, and if there's enough interest from everybody in the comments today, then I'll make sure that I start the campaign. And I'll set it at a reasonable price, because I don't want you guys to pay for something that's ridiculously expensive, but I will be making sure it's like the best quality t-shirt that I can get for you. I don't want you to buy something that's like substandard. I want it to be like a really good standard. But I won't make you pay massive amounts for it, because I'm not out to rinse you for all your money. <laughs> But thanks very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit like and leave a comment for a chance to win those PC game codes. And if you feel like you want even more games, then head over to g2a.com slash r slash Westy and grab yourself a great deal. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.